what is up y'all i know it has been so long I, your girl has been going through like some personal family things and just personal things period but i'm back y'all i'm back and i'm so excited i'm happy to be back on my little youtube journey and my content creator journey my influencer journey whatever you want to call it with me being gone for so long i wanted to do like a chit chat video but in the meantime between time i also need a new makeup bag so don't talk about me well, you can't talk about me because my granny bought me this Victoria's Secret makeup bag and my granny passed away. So it's just been so hard to just change makeup bags, but it's unsanitary at some point. So I got to change it. Um, I'm going to just keep it, but I'm just probably not going to use it, but I'll keep it because this is just my favorite gift that she ever gave me. Y'all going to see the inside. We're going to get to that, but let me show y'all my new one. I got it from Amazon. I can link it in my storefront if y'all want to, if y'all would like it, but this is way better than I thought it would be. Like the quality, how big it is. I haven't even opened it yet. I wanted to save it for y'all, but it's so cute y'all. And it's just, it look expensive. This is maybe like $15, so not a lot. And I don't have new makeup yet. Um, but your girl only use three products. I just use foundation, concealer, and contour sometimes, but that's it. I don't do blush or none of that or eyeshadow. So my makeup bag is gonna be like pretty simple, but it will also be perfect for like the beginner makeup girlies because I don't do, I wish I could. I'm not even gonna say I don't do all that. I just hate them type of girls that are like, oh, I don't wear makeup, I don't like girls, shut up. Like I'm sure if you could do makeup, you would do it. But anyways. Um, makeup brushes. I haven't opened nothing yet as y'all can see because I was just excited to like jump back into doing my YouTube videos and I just like to be perfect. So y'all can sit and chit chat with me while I just redo my makeup. Let's get into it. So I'm going to open this. Up. So right now it's probably currently going on almost 2 o'clock and 2 o'clock in the morning. I can only record when my daughter is asleep. So y'all see the work that I put in making these videos and getting this content to y'all. So just once again, comment. Like I want to know that y'all there. I want y'all to interact. That's what I do it for y'all. I mean, we finna go from this to this, but y'all haven't seen the inside yet. This makeup bag don't look horrible, but the inside. But first I want to open this up see what we got going on up in here okay so it's just really nice and simple but this is just what I need because I don't have that many products and I can actually also put my makeup wax in here so this is perfect so here excuse my nails y'all I'm, I'm putting on my press on so don't be messy don't look at my nails but anyways makeup brush is going here and I just love how they got plastic here because my other makeup bag got the cloth and like it's not yeah it's kind of like cloth and it's like hard to clean so i just love that they have this plastic so i can clean and it's just like you know type of germ thing and they got this secret compartment up in here i don't know what i'll put up in here but and then all of these are at the bottom so i can put my foundations my lip gloss my makeup wipes my concealer and whatever so this has to be real cute quick and fun to also help girls that uh want to get into makeup and just need like and just need the starter pack this is definitely the starter pack i haven't moved on from the starter pack like i just can't i don't got the technique so let's see what these brushes talking about so i love number one that they came with this holder and y'all i don't spend a lot on brushes because i'm not I'm not a Mac worker. Like, I'm just not a makeup artist. So, I'm not about to go out and buy $200 brushes. So, with that being said, it's real cute. I love already. I got rose gold and black. It's a professional, but we gonna see. Fun fact, something I didn't know. When you clean your brushes, you're not supposed to really touch this part. I never knew that. 
but that makes sense because our face don't the brush don't get that close to our face pretty much got everything i need i'm not gonna need all of these brushes but just so y'all can see this is what they look like yeah i'm telling y'all all i need is a foundation brush eyebrows fully because i have lost mine a concealer brush and i think okay so let me take out the brushes that i'm gonna use because i'm not even gonna crowd my makeup bag with brushes that i'm not gonna use so i'm gonna do the spoolie because i need to do my eyebrows so that's one where's the concealer brush okay let's see oh they got it on here okay y'all so i'm no brush expert and we'll be here all day just take whatever brushes i feel like makes sense and the rest i'm just put back in here the rest i'm gonna put back in this little brush holder okay i feel like these brushes uh foundation concealer and like a powder brush actually i'm gonna remove So these are the four brushes I will use. All right. Now, so to start, I'm gonna just put my brushes in here where they go. So, I ain't gonna lie, I've been going through a sort of battle. It's just really hard, you know, trying to find yourself again. Um, after having a child because it's just like the things I was once interested in I'm not interested in it anymore and it's just like dang like it's like my whole life I wanted to do this. it's like my whole life I wanted to do this one thing which was modeling and then like a baby came out of me and I'm like modeling like I'm too hot for modeling like and I just feel like I am you know like I personally have goals I want to reach I feel like we all have goals we want to reach by, by the time we hit 30. And I'm 26, so I just feel like it's time to start moving, you know? So that's pretty much what I've been on or how I've been feeling. Um, so yeah, it's like, yeah, I've been doing a YouTube thing and I'm really loving it. I'm enjoying it. And I feel like so many other people are loving it and enjoying it too. And it's just kind of giving me that validation that, you know, with me and y'all messing with me. So it's just like, that keeps me going but um so i put my brushes in there now that's done i'm gonna close that this is my makeup bag currently and a lot of this stuff is not getting transferred but the stuff that is getting transferred i'm gonna clean it with like a wet cloth so it can be clean in here so yeah uh, my main focus has been that and my boyfriend because he's been going through some things too so my life kind of was on pause a little bit but now I'm excited to get back into it but anyways y'all don't judge me I might keep some of these brushes in here because what if the new brushes don't work like how I want them to work? So with that being said, I'm about to go get a wet cloth and I'm going to start cleaning my actual makeup and put it in here. So let's get started. Y'all, this is gross. So I have my matte Maybelline Fit Me foundation. So I'm just going to clean that so I can transfer it into my clean bag this is really therapeutic because i mean of course the stuff you're putting on your face needs to be cleaned so i love that i'm doing this and i just feel like i'm getting a fresh new start with getting back into creating content for y'all i'm so excited i have my maybelline fit me powder so i'm gonna clean that I need new makeup like I just wish I was better at makeup I feel like my pictures will come out better and my looks will be more fun because I could switch up my makeup look but y'all I can't switch up my makeup look 
So I have this Juvia's Palace um, setting powder. I really love this, but I don't know how to use it professionally to wear. I don't look ashy at the end. So tell me what y'all think. Do y'all feel like soon in the near, not probably not soon, but in the near future, do y'all feel like girls are going to go back natural, like completely from bodies to hair to skin, like no makeup, really um, no weave and no BBLs? Tell me what y'all think, because for some reason, I feel like the world is going to get to that eventually. Um, not saying we do it for the men. Because, I mean, I do it for myself. My man don't even like makeup and all that, but I do it because it makes me feel good. But, um, oh, and I also just packed, um, my Ruby Kisses cream foundation i actually use that for my lace so just a tip if you got some lace and you having a hard time blending it i'm not a professional i'm scared to use 10 because i don't want to mess up my lace if i mess this you can't mess this up like if the color don't match you wash it out um i've been having a hard time y'all like this tan that i got just completely threw everything off like i got this light line under my lace and then my face got dark so y'all it's been a whole thing yeah i really think eventually girls are gonna go just full out natural but then again i don't think it will because these these makeup industries is making so much money like it's ridiculous so i feel like they won't even let that happen because who's about to lose out on all that money that's another reason why i wish i knew how to do makeup because um I will be doing it because that's where the money is. Not saying that you got to to get that bag, but they getting that bag. But I don't know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to makeup, so I do the bare minimum. So right now I am cleaning my Fenty lip glosses, and y'all, I'm gonna show y'all it all at the end and break down where I put stuff and all of that. So I got my two Fenty lip glosses, hot chocolate. If y'all haven't got hot chocolate brown girls, y'all need to go get it. Got this red lipstick for free and it's by Saya or Sia, Not, I don't know, but we are gonna put it in with the lip glosses. Most importantly, I have my lash glue. Y'all don't really have much, it's just pretty easy. Can't forget my concealer. I actually need to go get some new concealer because this one is just like too light for me at this point with me getting so dark. It's late, y'all. It's late. And just the update, I'm no longer breastfeeding full time. That's pretty much it. I don't know where my brown lip liner is, but when I find it, I will add that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else in here got to get thrown away. <laughs> And boom, I'm all done. Look at me. So everything else in here is getting thrown away. Like this is just ridiculous. And then now I will show y'all what it looks like now. I put my creams and foundations and all that good stuff at the bottom. All my foundations is at the bottom. My contour stick and my concealer. I got all my lip glosses in this compartment. Um, just my eyelash glue and my powders. Just my two powders and then as i showed you before my makeup brushes are right here i don't know why i thought this was gonna take forever so now your girl is good to go i'm so excited so now all i have to do see how she all i have to do now is go out and like buy some new things um I really want a new concealer. I want a new foundation. Um, I gotta get like some more skin prep stuff to, so my makeup is just like glowy and cute. So yeah, y'all, that is it. Um, I know it's been a minute, so now I'm about to start dropping more and more videos. So like I ask all the time, let me know. I wish I wanna see more of. 
Um, I have some hauls on the way and uh, lookbooks on the way. But if y'all want to see something different, um, your girl cook, I throw down. It's harder cooking now having a child, but I, I find my ways around it. Um, simplifying meals and all of that. So if y'all want to see more of that, let me know. If y'all want to see more of in my lives, let me know. Like, just let me know. Like, let's talk. Let's be friends. Let's connect. Like, I'm all for it. But once again, thank y'all for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and tell a friend about your girl. Until next vlog, bye.